Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here, in the mill, accessible only to my family. Perhaps I should have gone into the castle earlier, but I could not leave the villagers. Maker's breath. Tigan. Thank the Maker you yet live. Isolde. You're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over, and I must return quickly. And I... Need you to return with me, Tiga. Alone. What? I... Who is this man, Tigan? You remember me, Lady Isolde, don't you? Alistair. Of all the... Why are you here? They are Grey Wardens, Isolde. I owe them my life. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but considering the circumstances... Please, Lady Azul, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I... I, I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and hunt the living. The mage responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tigan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. He is. He is being kept alive so far. Thank the Maker. Kept alive? Kept alive by what? Something the Mage unleashed. So far it allows him and Connor and myself to live. The others were not so fortunate. It killed so many and turned their bodies into walking nightmares. Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. It wants us to live, but I do not know why. It allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. I... I do not know. Oh, Maker's mercy. Could it truly be a demon? I, I can't let it hurt my Connor. You must come back with me, Tigan. Please. He is an infiltrator, I think. Uh, one of the castle staff. We discovered he was poisoning my husband. That is why Eamon fell ill. Eamon was poisoned? He claims an agent of Terran Loganes hired him. He may be lying, however. I cannot say. For Connor's sake! I promised I would return quickly and only with Tigan. Tigan. I know you could order your men to follow me when I return to the castle. I beg you not to. For Connor's sake. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isolde. <gasps> Thank the Maker. Bless you, Tegan. <gasps> Bless you. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will... Distract whatever evil is inside, and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? I wish I knew. I don't know any more about this evil force than Isolde seems to. 
Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. You are a good man. The Maker smiled on me indeed when he sent you to Redcliffe. So we are just going to send him with that woman? It seems so dangerous. One fool plan on top of another. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. Unusual powers, be wary. Hello? Who's there? Is there anyone alive out there? Wait, you don't look like the Arlesses guards. Are you from outside the castle? You've spoken to her? Then you know what I did. I'm not proud of my deed. Poisoning Arl Eamon was what I was hired to do. Lady Isolde had no idea when she took me in to tutor her son, of course. I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She... had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So, they left me to rot. I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelden, that if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. You see, I'm a Malifica, a blood mage. A blood mage? Well, that isn't good. I dabbled in the Forbidden Arts, and they condemned me to death for it. I thought Loghain was giving me a chance to redeem myself. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's fallen apart, and I'm responsible! I have to make it right somehow, I have to! Yes, when the Templars caught me, they brought me to Denerim to await execution. Eventually, someone came to see me, alone. It was the Terran. I'd seen paintings of him, so I knew. I thought he'd have me executed right there. But he said I could make up for my crime. He said I would be helping the country. He only said that Arl Eamon was dangerous to the nation. Why wouldn't I believe Terran Loghain? Connor had started to show... signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the Circle of Magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the Circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. Because he would be taken away, forever. A mage cannot inherit a title, even the son of a powerful Arl. She's also a pious woman. Her son having magic was... humiliating. 
No, she was adamant that he never find out. She said that he'd do the right thing, even if it meant losing their son, and that infuriated her. Son, but he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful, at least not intentionally. I have thought about it, and it's possible Connor could have inadvertently done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. I say kill the mage. He cannot be trusted. He doesn't need to die, surely. He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? I don't know. He is a blood mage. But this is an unusual situation. Give me a chance, please. I... well, I tried to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. I'm glad you think so. So what now? You're letting me out? And what then? I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger exactly. I won't, I promise. I will find a way to fix this somehow. Damn you. 
begun. Quickly, we must fight! <laughs> As you say, I shall do it. It shall be done. It is begun. Defend yourself! I shall do it. As you say. Very well. I shall do it. It is done. Yes, my friend. Frightened. These monsters are everywhere. My... my name's Valena. The Arlesa's maid. I, I, she... All right. What happened to everyone? You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? But, but the monsters... 
I'll find my way. I can run fast, and I know the castle. Thank you. Finished. You have opened the gates. That is good. My men and I are eager to see our Arl again. Shall we enter the main hall together? It must be held if we are to regain control of the castle. Excellent. Let us go now, then, and see what awaits us there. So these are our visitors. The ones you told me about, Mother. Yes, Connor. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. And now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. This... This is just a man, Connor. Like your father. Oh, I am tired of hearing about him. Besides, he's nothing at all like father. Look at him, breathing and not dying in the slightest. I could change that if I knew. Connor, I beg you, don't hurt anyone. Ma Mother? What? What's happening? Where am I? This... This is just a man, Connor. 
Like your father. Get away from me, fool woman! You are beginning to bore me! Make us breath. What has happened here? Grey Warden, please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. I wish I could say the same! Wait! No, I don't! Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. It was a fair deal. Father is a liar, just as I wanted. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody! Ha 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 ha! Quiet, uncle! I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting, didn't I? Yes, I did. But let's keep things civil. This man will have the audience he seeks. Tell us, what have you come here for? To help me? To help father? To help yourself? Which? I was just having fun. Everyone else had fun too. Are you having fun, Uncle? Marmalade! You see? <laughs> We're having fun. I think you're just trying to spoil things. What do you think, Mother? I think it's threatening me. I... I don't think... Of course you don't! Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun! Frankly, it's getting dull! I crave excitement and action! This man spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village, and now he'll repay me! It shall be done. No water shall be given! As you said. It has begun. What shall be done? I shall do it. Damn you! I am better now, I think. <laughs> my mind is my own again. Blessed Andraste. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. The fool I am. Please. Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. Connor is no longer a child. He's an abomination. You! You did this to Connor! I didn't. I didn't summon any demon. I told you. Please, if you'll let me help. Help? You betrayed me! I brought you here to help my son, and in return you poisoned my husband? This is the mage you spoke of? Didn't you say he was in the dungeon? He was. I assumed the creatures had killed him by now. He must have been set free. Useful? After everything he did, he should be executed! Without him, none of this would have happened. Your secrecy made his actions possible, Isolde. But I... I know what you must think of me, my lady. I took advantage of your fear. I'm sorry, I never knew it would come to this. Well, I shan't turn away his help, not yet. And if Connor is truly an abomination... He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please, I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret, to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. 
I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... I think he ran upstairs, to the family quarters. Violence scares him. I, I know that sounds strange. He may have run up to his room, or... I don't know. The fighting may have scared Connor into... coming out again, and so he ran. So you're saying he may be vulnerable? I... perhaps. Is there... Is there no other way? Upstairs in his room. I think the demon has been keeping him alive. So if we destroy the demon, then... Then my husband may perish. Yes. None. I trusted Loghain. Why wouldn't I? How could I have suspected the mage he sent would be a murderer? And Eamon knew nothing of your plans. Do you not realize what you've done, Isolde? Eamon would only demand we do the right thing. I was not going to lose my son. Not to... to magic. He left Connor's raising to me. When I discovered it, I was frightened. I didn't know what to do. And so you brought doom upon us all and death to your own son. No. No, please. There must be another way. There must be something we can do. The demon in Connor needs to be destroyed. Killing Connor is the easiest way to do that, certainly. But there is another way. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade, then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages. But I have... blood magic. Lyrium provides the power for the ritual, but I can take that power from someone's life energy. This ritual requires a lot of it, however. All of it, in fact. So... someone must die? Someone must be sacrificed? Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. The power has to come from somewhere, and that means either lyrium or blood. Then let it be my blood. I will be the sacrifice. What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. It... Uh, it's up to you, my friend. You know more about such things than I do, and it's your companion going into the Fade. The decision is yours. You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi, if they would even do it. The tower is about a day's journey across the lake. You could attempt to get the mages' help. But what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. Very well. I will keep Jowan here as a precaution. He says he wants to help, so he will keep an eye on Connor with us. Go to the tower quickly, then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster.
Rough travels out here, eh? We even saw dark spawn on the way in. We're delivering a message to the Chantry in Denerim. You? We saw a blood mage down near the Brazilian forest. We're off to tell the Chantry about him. <laughs> I thought you said... Wait. You're serious? Uh, I suppose that's all right. As long as it gets there. Stay safe. Welcome back, friend. You'll be glad to learn that the Circle is well on its way to recovery. The child is possessed. But killing the demon would mean killing the... Unless you intend to enter the Fade. Yes. Yes, it can be done with a group of mages. I shall gather what mages I can, and we shall leave promptly. A life is at stake. As you say. The mages wait to perform the ritual. I do hope this is worth the time it has taken to assemble them. The mages are waiting to start the ritual. Ah, there you are. We have brought Lyrium and begun preparations for the ritual. We can start any time. Yes. We haven't sufficient lyrium at present to send more than one mage into the Fade. It truly depends on the manner of demon. It sounds like a spirit of greed and desire, one of the more powerful in the hierarchy. It will likely engage you in dialogue and tempt you with an offer. Avoid it. Making deals with demons never turns out well. I'm glad we decided to take this route. This is really the best option. <laughs> Magic. Very well. Who will go into the Fade? What? Me? Are you sure? Loose a blood mage into the Fade to meet a demon? What if he takes control of it? 
You trust too much and too quickly, but I shall do as you ask. I'll do my best, I promise. Have you seen my son? I can I can hear him, but I cannot find him. This blasted fog has me turning in circles. Uh, Al Eamon, do you remember me? You traitor! I guess you do. Stay away from my son! Stay away! Connor! We must flee! Where, where are you? Is anyone out there? Hello? Made father ill. Tell me now. Hello, Connor. I'm here to help your father. No! You're here to hurt father. I know it. I won't let you. Making father sick. I'll help him. You can't stop me. Why do you keep hurting me? Why are you trying to stop me? We don't have to fight. I just want to save Connor and Arl Eamon. I will not speak with you. Trespasser, I will drive you out. Wonders seeking me, trapped within my web. All is as it should be. Why must you interfere? Everything ends. They'll never let you get away with this. Connor invited her to come, and they struck a bargain. She has every right to do as she wishes. No, it is time for you to go now. Do not persist, or things will go very badly for you.
Very well. No more illusions. Now we meet face to face. You see my true form and stand in my domain. It is here I am most powerful. And yet I have no wish to engage your power, nor should you be so eager to engage mine. Perhaps we should converse instead? I've been given a chance to do something good for a change. I'm not going to throw it away. Alas, that is sad. Very well then. If you wish a battle, you will have it. Let us see if your power matches your boldness, creature. So it is over. Connor is his old self. He does not seem to remember anything, which is a blessing. I suppose we will need to send him to the Circle of Magi's Tower for... training, once the war is over. 
It's so odd to think of the boy as a mage, of all things. Eamon has much to mourn and rebuild should he recover. But at least he could be thankful that both his son and wife are safe. I owe you my deepest thanks. I had nearly... I can scarcely believe Connor is the boy he once was. There is still the matter of Jowan. You trusted him and he saved Connor's life. I am unsure of what to make of that. We will hold him for Eamon to decide his fate. If he doesn't recover, Jowan's fate is sealed. What do you think? You spoke with him, have you not? You know what he has done better than I do, even. I would not trust him, but I would not presume to tell my brother what to do. Very well. I shall have the mage imprisoned again, for now. But our task is not done yet. Whatever the demon did to my brother, it seems to have spared his life, but he remains comatose. We cannot wake him. The urn. The urn of sacred ashes will save Eamon. Thank you. I am grateful for your eagerness to help restore my husband. Find the brother Genitivi, the scholar, in Denerham. He has been researching the urn's location for several years now. The knights that returned say they were unable to find Genitivi. Perhaps the Maker will lead you to him. I must go to the Hall and begin rebuilding. I wish you luck, and may the Maker go with you. I have faith that you will find a way to help my husband. It will take years to sort out the castle properly, and we even get the chance. You. You're the one who saved me. Then, thank you. Father always said to remember to thank people who do nice things for you. I hope Father gets better soon. He will, won't he? to all the other castle servants that were here. Do you think they all died? Or did they run away? We owe you a great deal. The whole kingdom does, whether they know it or not. It is over. There's so much to be cleaned up. I don't want to even think about what happened.
task is finished. Unexpected. Thank you. What now? Is over. That poor little boy. I just can't bear to think what he must have gone through. It is good you resolved this demon business. Now we must either revive the Arl or allow Van Tegan to take his place. Now that we're back at the camp, I want to talk about what happened at Redcliffe. I just wanted to thank you. You went out of your way to save the Arl's family, and you did it. Even though it would have been easier not to. There's been so much death and destruction. It... Well, it, it makes me feel good that at least we were able to save something. No matter how small. I owe the Isle that much. Good. Now that the warm, fuzzy part of the day is over with, we can get back to the ritual dismemberments. Oh wait, it's not Tuesday, is it? You know, maybe this isn't the best time to be thinking about this, but I have something to ask you. Chances are we'll be heading to Denerim soon. And when we're there, I wonder if we might be able to look someone up. No, I, I know that. That's not what I'm talking about. The thing is, I have a sister, a half-sister. I told you about my mother, right? She was a servant at Redcliffe Castle and she had a daughter. Only, I never knew about her. I don't think she knew about me, either. They kept my birth a secret, after all. But, 
After I became a great warden, I did some checking and, well, I found out she's still alive in Denerim. She's the only real family I have left, the only family not also mixed up in the whole royal thing. I've just been thinking that maybe it's time I went to see her. With the blight coming and everything, I, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. Maybe I can help her. Warn her about the danger, I don't know. Could we? I'd appreciate that. If something happened to her and I never went to at least see her, I don't know if I could forgive myself. Her name is Goldana, and I think she remarried but still lives just outside the alienage. If we're in the area, then, well, it's worth a look. Something on your mind? This? This is my mother's amulet. It has to be. But why isn't it broken? Where did you find it? Oh, the Arl study? Then he must have found the amulet after I threw it at the wall. And he repaired it and kept it. I don't understand. Why would he do that? Maybe he did. He might even have brought it with him one of those times he came to see me at the monastery. Not that I would have given him a chance, as belligerent as I was to him. Thank you. I mean it. I thought I'd lost this to my own stupidity. I'll need to talk to him about this if he recovers from his... When he recovers, that is. I wish I'd had this a long time ago. Did you remember me mentioning it? Wow. I'm more used to people not really listening when I go on about things. I don't know what to say. I'm honored. Thanks again. <laughs>